Uh, Carnicero. Why do you call him the butcher? Because he kills so many of our people. But he will kill no more because he'll die on that devil's place. The Badlands. Yeah. Well, I reckon there's no need of us risking our necks going after him. If he keeps on, the desert will finish him. If he comes back, we'll catch him. Seguro, amigo. No, 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 my friend, enough for the moment. Too much will kill you. My friend, no, 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 no. Later. Perhaps we shall make camp here, since we cannot do otherwise. Leather your gun, cowboy. I thought you are somebody else, but you ain't. I reckon that's lucky for both of us. How is the Apache Creek gold strike sizing up? You don't look like no prospect here to me. I don't suppose my looks will keep me from finding gold. You better stick to punching cattle. 
I never struck gold doing that. So I thought I'd try the other way. I'm a-heading for Apache Creek myself, but I suppose now I'll find it crowded with dudes who don't know gold from pyrite. <laughs> if you're talking about me, don't worry. I was brought up in a gold claim in Colorado before I turned cow folk. Got plenty of water? <laughs> you bet. You'll need it before we get through the Badlands. Come on. Some poor devil's afoot somewhere. If we don't find him, he won't need that horse. He would have killed me for the water. <laughs> Your partner's coming around all right. How are you feeling? He, he ain't no, he ain't no partner of mine. Not him. We just met. I had water and he didn't have uh, any. Better not talk too much. We'll get you out of here. We ain't got water enough for four. That's just what I was thinking. Say, if we start right now, we can travel all night and be out of the Badlands by noon tomorrow. There's a Mexican family just outside where we can leave him. It's a good idea. Better separate them before they kill each other. Let's get organized. Gracias, senor. But your name? Why? Well, it is the Resty Band. Solano wished to know who saved his life. Oh, well, that's all right, Solano. You do as much for me. I hope someday I can, but tell me. Blake. Jim Blake. Senor Blake. I shall not be happy until someday I repay you. <laughs> Forget it, Solano. Glad to help you. You'll be all right now. A good one and a bad one ride together. They cannot always ride in peace. I was going prospecting too. The way I look at it, when a fellow saves a man's life, sort of makes some partners, don't it? You don't owe me a thing, Harv. Sure I do. I owe you all I got. And I'll work to pay you too. No need to do that, but the partner deal goes. There'll be plenty of gold for both of us. You know where to find it? We've got a pretty good tip. What do you say, Tex? Shall we make it a closed corporation? I've played a lone hand for 40 years. Partners and me don't get along. Well, we better be turning in if we want to get to the creek. I do, until I make my pile. And from what I hear, we will. We 
We sure struck it rich, Harv. Just look at that color. We ought to be rich the way we worked. Hope I never have to build another cabin. I don't know what you call being rich, but I'm making more in a day than I would in a month punching cattle. The trouble with you, you're hungry. Come on, let's knock off for lunch. And don't forget your shovel. Doggone, I do my best to lose it and you won't let me. Come on, let's go. You know, Harv, this is the first place in years I could call home. You ought to be in a home, an old man's home. You're getting soft in the head. An old man, am I? Oh. Oh. You bear cub. First you cut me down with work and then you take advantage of my crippled condition. Ah. Uh. Stick with me and I'll make a man of you yet. Yeah, but not a live one. Haven't you a hankering to settle down or haven't you had your fling yet? Settle down. Huh. Suppose the next thing you'll be getting married. No, I'm not thinking on getting hitched up yet. You better quit giving Carter's daughter Helen them meaning glances out of your soulful eyes. Trouble is, you got spring fever. You trouble to get some water out of the spring before I crown you with this skillet. <laughs> I've had enough of this town. Reckon I'll be selling my claim and moving on. What's the matter, Tick? Can't you get along with your neighbors? Oh, you mean Blake and Tarleton? Hey, they're a strange pair to draw. You do to take along. But I wouldn't trust that Harv Tarleton behind my back. You'd think Harv would save Jim instead of the other way around. But when Jim takes a partner, he means it. He's so square, he thinks everybody else is till proved otherwise. Jim's too easy going. No, oh, not always he ain't. I knew Jim down on the Pecos. He was working for an outfit that was crooked, but he didn't know it. When he found out they was rustling cattle, he sure cleaned up on them. Maybe he didn't shoot. Oh, is he that Jim Blake? Yep. He's plenty forked when roused, and chain lightning with a six gun. Harv would be a fool to play crooked. He sure would. They got two good claims in their pen, and plenty of dust. Where's Helen taking herself to? She's delivering some canned stuff to the claims. There's another funny pair, him and Carter. Lanning always acts like he's the boss instead of Carter. Yeah, Carter ought to be more careful who he lets run his gambling. He's scared to death of Lanning. There's something wrong there. Sure glad I haven't any soap. This water's hard enough for my blisters. We'll have plenty of soap and other things. Supplies should be in today. Well, you'll have to go after them. I need some rest. Just look at that. Come down and deal for him some night at Carter's. I wouldn't do that, Harv. I've got every reason to believe that Lanning's games are not on the level. Is that right? Well, I was just figuring that maybe I could make my pile that way while you were... All right. It's up to you. You have a right to deal for Lanning if you want to. But if you do, we're splitting right now. No, Jim. If that's the way you feel about it, I won't. Don't go back to the old ways, Harv. We've got everything here to work for, live for. I guess we might as well have a showdown right now. What do you mean? Just this. I know you're not very popular in these diggings. Well, that doesn't matter to me. I don't believe in kicking a man when he's down. You've played square with me so far. And as long as you continue to do so, we'll get along. I'm sure aiming to do that, Jim. It's 
Miss Helen. The fly train must have come in. Whoop, look out there. Oh, I'm sorry. I tripped. Take your paws off of that girl. Just what is your angle in this, Lanning? Lenny. Miss Helen and me are engaged. So, Miss Helen. It's all right, Jim. Lanny figured you knew. No hard feelings. I knew you ran Carter's games, Lanning. But I didn't know you figured on being a life partner. Oh, Lanny, about that business I was telling you. You didn't have to bring this. I was coming in after it. What's the matter, Miss Helen? Can I help you? Headed for Texas cabin. Well, let's find out. Come on. Hey. Well, Jake's cabin's been robbed too. And there's more than one man in on it. Come on. Something's up. Howdy, Flake. You seen or heard anything out of the way? No, I haven't, Grimby. What's up? Two cabins entered and robbed tonight. One of them being mine. Oh, Jake's place was robbed, too. There must have been two men on the job. What did you lose, Tex? That old Indian tobacco pouch I used for a pope. It was full of gold dust, too. I'd have caught him, whoever it was. The light had been better. I hate to say it, but they're thieves amongst us. You're right. We mean to find them. Time was you could go away for a week and leave your shack unlocked. Now you daren't even turn your back. I didn't know things were so bad. Well, they are. They'll get worse if we don't do something about it. Trouble is, we're so darn far out, the law ain't caught up with us yet. So we gotta take it on ourselves to organize before outlaws and other varmints run us clean off in the creek. Yes, sir, we gotta organize for law and order. That's where we're hoping you come in, Jim. Me? Yes, you. We've heard big things of you, Jim. But we figure you're just the man we want for Camp Marshal. I'm sorry, Grimby. But I put all those days behind me. All I want to do is to make my pile settle down somewhere. Well, now, don't decide in a hurry. Think it over. We're holding a meeting over at Carter's tomorrow. 
Come on over anyhow, even if you can't see your way clear of being marshal. We know how you clean out those bad hombres down on the Pecos, and we figured you could do the same thing here. All right. I'll come. But I'm not making any promises. That's the spirit, Jim. We'll get you yet. Well, don't bet any dust on that. So we're going out right now and start gathering votes for you. You'll have to take it, Jim. We'll see about that. <laughs> don't let no snakes bite you. Oh, I won't, Tex. Uh, so long, boys. So long, Jim. Good night, Marshal. I wonder why they picked on me. Yeah, when they could have asked me just as well. That's an idea, Harv. I'm all for the law, but I'd rather have the other fellow enforce it. Me too. When there's other things that pays better. You still figuring on getting married, Jim? Dry up, you tramp. Don't shoot, Marshal. I'll give up. How'd you make out last night? Fine. Only we gotta go slow. Things are getting pretty hot. Why well, I did better than that, even if things are getting... Here, I'll pour half of it in my bag. No, 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 no. Put it in mine. You find getting gold like this a little easier than digging for it, do you? Hope to tell you I do. And besides, I got a partner that... You haven't answered my question yet. What was it? I want to know if you and Lanning are really engaged. Oh, please don't. Well, we're ready for the meeting. All right, Grimby. I understand the Law and Order Committee is in session. Where's Tex? Oh, he's doing some detective work. He allows he's going to be his own law and order. Jim, we all agreed that you're the man we want for Camp Marshal. We hope you will be seeing your way clear to be accepted. Well, you boys don't understand. I came here to make my pile so I could have a home and settle down. I've tried to put shooting and killing behind me and keep it there. So don't you see you're asking too much? We wouldn't let you lose. We'll run your claim for you. Come on, do it, Jim. There won't be much to it. But what there is, we want done right. There you are, gentlemen. Four king. <laughs> You're too lucky for me. I'm clean. That's the pouch was stolen from me last night, Lanning. A dozen men can swear it's mine. Then ask Harv where he got it. I want it from him. Lanny, you're lying. Something's happened in the saloon. Come on, boys, what it is. What's this all about? My gold pole. Lanny had it. And I'm saying it again. I got it from Harv Tarleton. Hit hard? Not awful, Jim. What about that poke? Van is lying. I never saw it before. I'm telling you the truth, Jim. Would I lie to my partner? Harv. It looks like you're a liar as well as a thief. Yeah, There's no need to. Yeah. Oh, let's get a rope. Hey, wait a minute. Let's go get a rope. You asked me to be marshal. Well, I will on my own terms. You'll do as I say. We're running Lanning out of the camp and making him stay out. Which will make it nice for you, won't it, Blake? Then you can grab my girl. That's your play, ain't it? We'll keep her out of this. You mean you will. Go on. Take advantage of your office. Make me go. You know you're not man enough to do otherwise. 
That's the second bad mistake you've made today, Lanning. Let's have a drink. Uh, no much obliged. I, I got to see Miss Helen. I'd like to see Miss Helen. There she is. I'm sorry for what's happened, but it had to be done. Sorry? Why should you be, when I'm glad? I didn't love Lanny. I feared him. Father and I knew that he was a thief and worse. But I couldn't tell you. He would have killed Father if we had. He threatened to. Oh, I never loved Lanny. You saved us, Jim. Oh, oh, can't you see? I knew you cared, and, and I did too. Oh, Jim. Have I got to... No, honey. Let me. you hold up? A messenger of the gospel? This ain't no hold up, parson. You're going to a wedding. Oh. <laughs> Check your hardware, gents. The groom allows this wedding's on the level. Will you, Jim Blake, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Helen Carter, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I only thought this was a home before, and now I know it is. It certainly needed a woman's touch. I'm so happy, Jim. I hope we'll always be. What's the matter, Harv? Oh, I kind of thought maybe I ought to pull up stakes and get going. Why are you leaving? Oh, I was just thinking. Well, if you want to split up the partnership, that's your business. But you don't have to leave on our account. Isn't that right, Helen? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Who are you going to get to work your claim? Oh, I reckon I'll find somebody. Hadn't you better wait till your arm heals? Come on, let's talk this over. What's 
matter, Tex? Got bad news? It's a circular from a correspondence school. They want me to take a course in prospecting. Say, did any of you Jasper send my name in? <laughs> Seem like a month since she and Jim got hitched. I reckon she's not as keen on reform and Harv as Jim is. Well, anyways, Harv's moved out of their cabin and built one of his own. Things won't be right until Harv's clear off the crib. Harv's arm don't seem to be healing as quick as it should. Maybe he don't want it to. Sometimes it's right handy to be an invalid. Let's have a drink. Here's a letter for you. Thanks. And how's the little wife getting along? Oh, all right, I guess. And Jim? Oh, Jim's fine. He's wonderful. I'd be so happy if we could only be alone. You mean Harv Tarleton? Yes, I do. He's always around. And Jim's the only one who doesn't seem to realize how Harv's using him. Why don't you tell him? I want to, but how can I? Jim's so loyal, so trustful. And it isn't as if there was anything definite the matter. It's just that I feel that something's wrong. I'm afraid of Harv, of the way he looks at me, at Jim. Harv, just like a coiled rattler, ready to strike. Maybe he wanted Helen himself. You reckon he's jealous because Jim married her? No, Kurt. He's jealous of her because she married Jim. Hey, you hit it. Jim sure carried Harv a long ways along the road. Too long. Hmm. Oh. Jim had ought to wake up. It'd take a lot to make him see Harv for what he is, but somebody ought to try to. Hi, come here. Look at this. I struck a new pocket, the richest yet. Just look at the size of those nuggets. That's sure the real thing, Jim. I'm mighty glad about this. But don't let on about it. I want it to be a surprise. How's that? Well, it's like this. Helen doesn't seem to be very happy here, although I can't be different when you're married. If you find yourself a nice girl and... Hey, when you find me tied to apron strings, you can hang me by them. <laughs> I've been storing some dust away in Carter's safe. I'm thinking on surprising Helen someday. And this new streak will certainly double the pile. I'll check and see if my hired hand has found some nuggets, too. All right, Harv. See you later. You love me a lot, don't you, Jim? Of course I do. You've heard me say so often enough. No, I haven't. I'll never hear it enough. Jim, I hope nothing ever comes between us. What could? Harv Tarleton could and would. Harv? I don't understand. Everybody else knows what a drag he is on you. Why, if it weren't for you, he would have been run out of town with Lanny. He's no better. I wouldn't say that, Helen. Harv has been square with me. I know he's got a pretty bad past, but there are a few out here who haven't. Someday you're going to wake up to what he really is. And that day isn't far off. What's he done? It's... 
Oh, something's wrong. I know it. I feel it. Why can't you? You're just imagining things. And I don't think you're being quite fair. I gave Harv a chance. Why don't you? Don't you understand? Yes, I do. Better than you know. It's you who don't understand. Can't hold them off. I was trying to sneak through and get word to the boys at the creek. Outlaws, jump on the green claim, 10 miles down the creek. Go to Carter's and pick up whoever's there. And I'll get who I can and go ahead. And if you see Helen there, tell her where I'm going. All right. Come on, Harv. We got a job to do. Why, what's the matter? I fell off my horse. The wound's opened up again. You go ahead. I'll be all right. Sorry you can't go. So am I. Get your horses. We're riding. Outlaws. Where's Jim? Chasing outlaws. Yeah, the brave marshal's gone to war. Somebody down the creek needed help, so he's it. But surely he left some word. He didn't go without, without letting me know. Why not? He seems to think more of that job than he does of anything else. Why doesn't he consider me? It isn't fair. I can't stand it. And I'm not going to any longer. I don't have to stay here. What do you figure on doing? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going away. I say. I love you, Helen. Always have. But I knew you liked Jim better, so I stepped aside for him. But now that things are different, you're not happy here. Things should be better for you. I've got a lot of gold saved up in your dad's safe. I'll get it. We'll go now, together. Then we'll start making things as they should be. I didn't know. 
Then you'll go. Time to wait for Kirk. Come on. you hombres. You sure saved us, Jim. Kurt got through then. Where is he? I suppose he's coming, but we couldn't wait for him. You're sure a rip snorter when you get started. I always heard you was, and now I know it. Where can we put these prisoners until we can call a miners' meeting? I know just the place. Then let's get started. Somebody slugged Carter and robbed his safe. Come on, lend a hand. Most of the boys went with Kurt to help the marshal. Hey, Jim. Carter's been robbed. Safe looted. He was knocked out. But we brought him around when he come to. He said Harv Tarleton did it. Harv? Why, I left him here. He was hurt. He... I found them, Jim, as far as I could. They're heading toward the Badlands. Who? Harve and Helen. You mean he's carrying her off? Jim, I hate to say it, but she's going with him of her own free will. It's the truth, Jim. I'm with you in this. Thanks, Grimby. But there are times when a man has got to ride alone. And this is one of them. I wouldn't want to be in Tarleton's saddle. Or hers either.
I go? How did you guess it? What, what do you mean? You're doing the talking. Go ahead. All right, I will. You thought I was going away with you. That I cared for you. You fool. I only did it to get rid of you. To show Jim what you really are. I knew that ever since we started. I wonder what Jim Blake will think of his little wife running away with me. He'll know why I did it. I left a note explaining, telling him to come and get me. You'd better hurry, for he'll come. And when he does... <laughs> that was right smart of you, wasn't it? Now, you listen to me. I didn't take you with me because I wanted you. I don't. And you think you know what hate is? Well, that's nothing to what I feel for you. You came between Jim and me and tried to turn him against me. Well, when he comes and finds you here, you're gonna know what it is to suffer. It's you who will suffer. He'll have my letter and... No, he won't have your letter. You were smart, all right, but I was a little smarter. And it wasn't my goal, it's Jim's. You were right when you said you were going to stay here. I'm only sorry I won't be here when Jim finds you. I'll leave this outside. Maybe you might want to use it before he gets here. I'll tell him the truth. You won't have to. You've been knowing it all along the way. Well... So I'll be leaving you. You will wait for Senor Blake also, yes? made your choice.
glad for your partner. No, Jim! Jim, you couldn't! Jim! No! Jim! No. I couldn't. But you wouldn't understand why. I was going to leave you here where I found you. But I'm taking you back. Now get up. Senor! Senor Blake! Wait, Senor Blake! Wait! Senor Blake! When your wife go away with that man, she leave letter for you. That man, he's find it and take it. I find it too. Jim, dearest. Your partner has asked me to go away with him. I am going, too, for a while, for it seems the only way to open your eyes to what he is. But hurry, Jim, and, and take me from him, so that I can have you alone forever. Is she... I thought. No, Jim. I'm just beginning to live. <laughs> 